Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to use databases with Python. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually here we'll be using a very famous and also lightweight database called SQLite. Okay, so SQLite is very famous and it's really useful and simple to use. It's used mostly on mobile devices, so if you want a lightweight database, so this is the way to go. So in order to illustrate that, so let's open our favorite editor. So I'm using Atom, but you can use whatever editor for Python you want, like PyCharm for example, which is also free. So here I have just, as you can see here, just a simple file called example.py. So first thing first, we have to import a library that will allow us to use this database SQLite. And the library we're gonna use is called SQLite tree. So by default, it's installed when you install Python, but you have to import it in your file in order to use it, okay? So now we have imported our SQLite model so we can open a connection to a SQLite database. So in order to do that, let's make a connection. And we're gonna use SQLite tree model dot connect. Okay. And here we have to specify the file where our data will be stored. So here I'll use a file called data.dp because it's standard but you can use whatever name you want. Okay. And this file will be automatically created when we will run the program. Okay. So now that we have actually our connection we use actually a cursor in order to in interagate with the, our database so i need also a cursor so the cursor will be generated by the function cursor here we go so now we can use the SQL, SQL language in order to create our table and also in order to query our database. So in order to do that, we use a function execute. So cursor.execute. And here we have to specify the string that will be used in order to create our table. So SQL is or SQL actually, some call it SQL, some call it SQL, is a very famous standard language for creating database and also for querying databases. So here will be create a simple table called, for example, student in order to illustrate our example. Okay, so I'm gonna create table. So this is the syntax for the SQL language. So I will create a table called students. Okay. Now we have to provide the name of the column that constitute our table. So I will be using just two columns as an example. So let's say a name, for example, name of our students. And here we have to provide also the type, which is a text. And let's say also a gender which is also a text, okay? So, what we have done here, so ha actually here, we create a simple table called students, which has two columns. The first one is name, and second one is a gender, okay? So now we have created our table using the SQL language. So now the table is empty, we have to populate it. So let's uh, insert 
some data into our table and we'll use also the execute function okay and syntax also is pretty easy so insert into the table which is students and what we are going to insert is some values here we have to open parentheses and we have to provide actually our values so let's say for example the first name is max which is a male so we'll just have to specify the letter m if you want so as you can see here we have double quotes and single quotes so in order to avoid avoid mistake we have here to use double quotes and we'll keep single quotes inside our sql language here we go it's a little bit tricky here but now i think it's okay so we insert two values here max and m which stands for male okay so let's insert another row or line so all you have to do is to copy and change the values so let's add for example female this time sally which is a female okay I guess I have to get rid of this single code here so now I think it's okay let's insert the third one also a female so for example Sarah Et voila I think now we have our uh, three rows or three elements inside our table so now we have finished with inserting data all we have to do is actually to commit our work so we use the commit function and also we have to close the connection to our database using the close function okay or method if you want so this is our simple script first thing we have to import the model SQLite 3 okay now we have to connect to the database file in this case we name it data.db okay and here we create a table and we insert some data using the SQL or SQL language with a standard for querying databases and don't forget to commit your work in order to execute all the SQL queries here and to close the connection so let's run that and see what are we going to see so here I'll use just command python3 then the name of our file okay so don't forget to save the file in order to commit your changes So as you can see here in the left we the file the data.tp has been created but we have an error here insert into student value sara f yes because actually i forget this simple code here so i have to get rid of it so let's clear that and let's delete this file here in order create it with our script et voila now we have executed our script 
and we have no errors and file data.tp has been created so in order if you open this file here you will see just some rubbish so where are our data but here you can see that Sarah has been inserted actually okay so in order to view the content of this file which is a SQLite file you can go online and just type SQLite viewer and here you can find this SQLite viewer in github so you're gonna open it and you have just to dra dra drop your file inside inside this uh, page in order to view the content okay so now as you can see here in the SQLite viewer web page we have actually our table so as you can see here the name of our table is students with three rows and this is the names Max, Sally, Sarah and the gender M, F and F so actually we have succeeded into creating our or managing our SQLite database using Python okay so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye